Hello everyone and welcome back to NT Game with me Tux. First of all I want to say Happy New Year to you all and I hope you had a great Christmas. As you might be able to hear I've got a new headset and it's probably clearer. It did cost a lot more money than my previous one. I'm sorry it's been a while but over Christmas after I submitted my first video explaining what was going on I decided I was going to take a break as there were no patches on Guild Wars so there wasn't much content to do. But the plan is now I'm back. I have a new schedule and a new plan of what I want to do with the channel. This video here for the patch for Guild Wars 2, The Origins of Madness, isn't really much of a preview now as the patch came live today. But I'm going to do my usual summary of the features of this patch to kick off the new year. I'm going to start off by showing the patch introduction video. Designs. She will succeed at all costs. Even if she has to kill every last one of you. And there we go. That is the trailer for the new patch, The Origins of Madness. We now have all the details for the patch. I previously recorded this, and I was saying we don't know any details, but as I'm now doing this today, we have all the details. I'm now going to go through some of these features that we've got for this patch. First of all, we have two new world bosses by the looks of it. We have a three-headed jungle worm in Blood Tide Coast, and we also have a giant mechanical, almost clockwork knight sort of construct in Lornar's Pass. There's various tactics for these bosses by the looks of it, and I'm sure they're going to be quite difficult. We have a new skin, a new rifle skin, which is at the bottom of the page. I'll show you a preview of that in a minute. We have new rings and amulets. There's various ascended armor components and miniatures available, along with exotic recipes. There's new items on the gem store. Most of these seem worm themed and mini pets. As some of you might know, I'm not a massive fan of mini pets. They don't really excite me. I'm not one for the mini pets in this game. Right, I'm going to wrap this video up by explaining my tweak to my recording format as I mentioned previously. As most of my views that I get on YouTube are from Guild Wars 2 content, I'm going to be putting out a lot more Guild Wars 2 based stuff. This content isn't going to be like the previous things I've been doing. What I'm planning to do is record myself each time there's a new patch. I'm going to play a straight recording session and I'm going to edit down to showcase the main exciting bits, the bits I think are funny, where I get the achievements. I'm going to be showcasing all of that, all of the good stuff. I'll either be doing long videos or cut up into various bits. I haven't quite decided yet, but I'll keep you posted and let you know. As I said, I'm mostly going to focus on new patch content that comes out, but I am going to do other bits and pieces here and there. I might do some World v World, or some PvP, maybe even a bit of leveling, who knows. Another thing I'm planning to do is try and get the rest of my How To Guild Wars series out. I want to get the rest of the bosses done, including the new ones, and I'm planning to extend the series onto other features of the game, such as dailies or maybe even jumping puzzles. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Once again, I'm so sorry about the long wait. As I said, I wanted a little break over Christmas, and there wasn't much Guild Wars 2 content going on. I'm sorry I missed the Winter Day content, but last year I'd done quite a lot of it, and it seemed very, very similar this year, so it, so it didn't really interest me. Remember to subscribe for more regular Guild Wars 2 content. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, tucks out.